Did you know that Japan has its own crown jewels? Japan's imperial regalia consists of three items, a sword, a mirror, and a jewel. These items represent the three virtues of valor, wisdom, and benevolence. The regalia are kept out of public view. Only the imperial family and a few priests are allowed to see them. The picture shown here is an artist's representation. The curved jewel in the picture resembles jade, but written sources, as well as a friend of mine in Japan, said that the gem is reportedly red agate. According to legend, the items are brought to Japan by the deity Ninigi no Makoto. He is the grandson of the goddess Amaterasu and the great-grandfather of Jimmu, Japan's first emperor. Per legend, Amaterasu hid in a cave in shame when her obnoxious brother, Susano, killed a weaver with a practical joke. As Amaterasu is the sun goddess, this plunged the world into darkness. She was lured out of the cave by the jewel and the bronze mirror, got startled by her reflection, and then got pulled out of the cave by other deities. Susano later gave her the sword as an apology. Depending on the legend, the sword was either used to kill an eight-headed serpent or obtained from its body. The regalia have been used in ascension ceremonies since 690 and are still used today, such as for Emperor Naruhito in 2019. The regalia are handed to the new emperor during the ceremony, but are left shrouded or in boxes so they cannot be seen. At this ceremony in 2019, the sword and jewel were handed to the new emperor while the mirror remained in its location. The locations of all the regalia are unconfirmed. However, it is believed that the sword is kept at Atsuta Shrine in Nagoya, the jewel at the Three Palace Sanctuaries in Tokyo, and the mirror is kept at the Ise Grand Shrine in Mie Prefecture. The most famous regalia story is possibly from the Sea Battle of Dan no Ura in 1185, when the Minamoto clan defeated the Taira clan. The Taira had possession of the regalia and threw them into the sea in defiance of their loss. The mirror was recovered immediately, and according to story, a Minamoto soldier tried to open the box containing it, but was struck blind as he was unworthy of gazing upon the mirror. Divers later recovered the jewel, but the sword was supposedly lost. The current sword is believed to be a replica, though some suggest it was returned via supernatural means. If you enjoy my Japanese history snippets, please follow me, like, and share my videos. If you have any Japanese history questions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you.